road to 700 is well underway and progress is on point. So who would ever have thought going into Fitness Connection in the suburb of Houston, Texas on Christmas Eve, you get to see arguably the best bench pressers in the world training. Boom. Nice warm up there with 585. On to 605 here. And uh, he had uh, Jeff Yonker come out and spot him. Uh, very nice of Jeff to come all the way out there. He's got dude so classy. Probably takes other steps out of the shower to take a leak. But anyways, here we go with 605. For the, the projected goal here is a double. Boom. Oh, yeah. Easy. Hitting PRs every week. And definitely some in the tank there. So, for sure, one more rep. There may have been two more in the tank there. So, that's perfect. You know, James is a meat lifter. Everything's on point. Building momentum. Obviously, could do more, but we're getting a little momentum each week. It doesn't, each week doesn't have to be a full on street fight. Okay, so now we're doing some overload here with the slingshot. This is 655, and he hasn't worn this forever. That was kind of out of the groove, looked a little funky, but he's so strong now, he's still able to get it up. And on to 675. Okay, here we go. This is going to allow him to, to feel some, some, just some heavier weight in his hands and protect the shoulders in the process. We're getting all these heavy lifts. Okay, this is 675. Boom. Looked about the same. Going up to 700 now. Okay, so this is uh, this is what he's going to hit without it here in a couple months. Let's see how he handles it. So here we go with the seven hundred. Oh, please see he got a little again. He got a groove, a little bump in the road there. But James is so strong right now; he's able to to actually you know, adjust and lift the weight up. So it wasn't the smoothest rep in the world, but the way he can adjust with that kind of weight and just having coached him for a while, that's an indicator that 700 is definitely real because you don't, I don't care if you have a slingshot or not. If, you know, if you can adjust with that kind of weight, that's huge. Doing the plyometric pushups here next for three sets of three. Uh, got some, got really good there. Got really high up on to 455. And we, t if you didn't see our video last week, we talked a lot about the um, the um, benefits of the plyometric pushups. The speed bench here is only 455 this week, putting maximum force into the barbell each rep, each set. So like it, you get a lot of, you even get a lot of the maximal strength adaptations here if you have the intent to blast that bar with maximal force. It's called compensatory acceleration training done a bunch of articles about if you just google compensatory acceleration training and josh bryant you'll see some of the articles i have on it but this is a great way to produce maximum force without using heavy amounts of weight this was dr fred hatfield my mentor was one of it you know we used to always talk about you know sort of the, some of the differences between people that are the strongest people in the world and people you know that aren't as strong and one of the difference is was that the stronger guys get compensatory acceleration training and a lot of times they may not have even been taught it. It's just something they naturally do on the dips here. And uh, these look really good here. Getting good range of motion there with 215. And as I always say, as James's dips go, so his bench goes. And uh, these are going to be, you know, he's obviously walking around with about 20 extra pounds here too. So that, that's very encouraging right here. That was 250 pound, 215 pounds over his body weight for uh, two sets of five here. Second set right here. Good form, good range of motion. I mean, there's a lot left in the tank there. He probably could do a set of 10 if he had to, especially, I mean, we're, we're getting deep into the workout. You remember we started off with the pause bench press. He did the, then he did the slingshot overload. So the pause bench press was 605 for two reps. He did the 655, 675, 700 for a single. The plyometric push-ups for um, three sets of three. 
then 455 for three sets three on the speed bench press then he's doing 215 pounds of the dip so you know the guy trains hard so you wonder you know if he if like a world record's at stake can he take a fourth attempt well hell yes he can take a fourth attempt and be totally ready and james is doing a really good job here of um very coachable and listens on the the flies he's getting that you know keeping that slight bend in the elbow the whole time good pause on the bottom and then stopping the dumbbells from actually t- touching to keep continuous tension on the pecs and uh, you know this this is raw bench pressing pecs are important that's why bodybuilders classify this as a chest lift and i do um talking more about james's training here I, i'm very excited to see um, what the slingshot overload helps him with we haven't done that in a while as he gets in the groove there i think we can get you know we're gonna get we're gonna get some good mileage out of that and um, it's a it's a tool I it's one of the most effective tools I recommend for overloading your bench press um, because it, it doesn't have the learning curve of a bench press shirt. So you know generally if I told somebody to go hey let's go um, try to bench press shirt you know you bench press five hundred raw you know it, you see people you know they've done eight nine hundred thousand pounds and then you know struggle with five hundred raw this, this does happen. However. You couldn't just put 500 a bench press shirt on somebody bench pressing 500 pounds and expect them to do, you know, even get 100 pounds out of it right out of the bat. It's pretty. Um, there is definitely a learning process to it. Um, it's certainly not uh, of the same pedigree of taking years to actually build legitimate strength and muscle, but it's not just something you do in a in a split second. So the thing with slingshot is I like the fact that it takes um, that it takes out. Um, the learning curve so you can just throw that sucker on get ready to go and get some beautiful overload there okay so we're on to wide grip lat pull downs there just uh smoking right through these um hey these are you don't just progressively overload you know on your bench press on your squat on your deadlift on these assistance extra exercises too you know james isn't going to bench press 700 pounds unless he's the accessory work of a 700 pound bench presser and he's on point Doing the tricep pushdowns here next. Good strict form. And uh, these feel really good on his elbows. Everything's feeling healthy right now, which is half the battle. I mean, you wonder why no one's benched 900 pounds or 800 pounds raw yet. Simply because it's not like there aren't people that aren't that wouldn't have had the muscular strength. It's usually injuries that stop them. So we need to be very aware of keeping James healthy. And that's uh, one of the reasons he's progressed so well is he is healthy. And we're going to keep him healthy. And on a side note, look how big those back arms are getting. Boom. So who would have thought you stumble into Fitness Connection on Christmas Eve and you see this maniac go? I'm really excited and looking forward to the 700. So we appreciate this. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.